You know, aortic stenosis is quite prevalent in the population, especially over the age of 75. Um, recently in the news, uh, Mick Jagger had uh, transcatheter aortic valve replacement performed at Columbia University Medical Center in New York. Um, this is a very common procedure. Um, in 95% of patients were able to actually go through a femoral artery. Now, I don't know all the details of Mick Jagger's procedure, um, but this is, um, um, you know, as of uh, this summer or early fall, uh, this will likely become mainstream for all patients. So most towers are performed through the femoral axis. So you puncture the femoral artery, you put the valve in through the femoral artery, it goes through the iliac artery into the aorta, and then you place the valve in the aortic position. In this case, the places to put a valve in are limited. Right? So it's either through the arm, through the shoulder, through the carotid, or possibly through the vein, versus open heart surgery, which can be a high risk for patients who already have lots of comorbidities. So this particular technique allows us to still maintain access and putting a valve in without cutting or any incision. So the recovery can be shorter. So uh, a couple of weeks before the procedure, uh, we um, uh, worked hard to make sure that you know, we as physicians were ready and we had planned the uh, procedure correctly. Uh, but we also wanted to make sure that our, um, our uh, colleagues uh, who work in the cath lab and also the nursing staff who, who were going to take care of the procedures were aware of what we were doing. Um, so we gave a series of presentations to the cath lab staff. Um, we made sure that uh, those in the cath lab who were in charge of inventory um, had all the appropriate inventory and then we did um, a run through the day before. Uh, and then the morning of the procedure, we also had a guest lecturer come uh, from Henry Ford Hospital to also give us a lecture on the uh, physiology behind the procedure. I think TMC is probably, you know, one of the best programs in the area and we're very happy to perform our procedures here because we know that they have a good support staff. The cath lab team is very excited and very involved. We have a lot of support from the administration. We have support from basically the entire team. And it takes a team you know, to, to a village to basically do structural heart. And that's something that we're, we're very proud to have here at TMC.